two vehicles to the garage for maintenance and overhauling. It was under the control of the garage owner. So it was no longer under the control of UDP. It's not that, that the vehicle was here in my premises here and taken away. Then we'll be asked, it's under UDP's control. But this is absolutely under the control of the mechanic in charge. So the mechanic, and let me say the mechanic himself was shocked because he, what he told me is that, you know, they had finished with the mechanical work. So it was the electrical work and probably this was the electrician who took the vehicle, maybe even unbeknown, unbeknown to the mechanic. So uh, no one can blame UDP for uh, really uh, not exercising control, for being negligent. What you said, I agree with you, Papa, pa, I agree with you. You see, it's a strategy, it's all part of their ploy to make sure that our vehicles are grounded so that we cannot go on our political activities the way we want to, with the aid of our vehicles. That is why they want to plant on Mood Savali, so that the vehicles 2021 can be grounded. That's why they want to Karafa, so that his vehicle can be grounded. Ibrahim Adiba, myself, that is, that, that, I mean, that, that is the ploy. That is all the ploy. And uh, uh, I'm not sure, I'm, I think the lawyers will have to argue that, I'm not sure whether the vehicle can be used as an exhibit. I have not seen any vehicle being used as an exhibit. When they, when they, when they arrested the government vehicles, people carrying cannabis in the government vehicles, the cannabis was what was used as exhibit. They never used the vehicles as exhibit. Maybe they might try it this time, first time. You never know. You know, it could be, they, you never know, they, they probably might want to do it this time. Yeah. Second question is from Elidia. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Fat Kamara Jr. I work with the FATRU Network. Um, when you were mentioning the facts, uh, you made mention that um, the, the security, sorry, the police could, should have searched the vehicle before uh, getting the guy to their own vehicle. And then, yes, that is what you mentioned. So I was asking, uh, are you concluding that maybe uh, the police, it's just a question, maybe the police have a hand in this, or in fact, maybe the mechanic uh, that you give the, the, the vehicles to also have a hand in this? Because um, you, you, you really uh, mentioned that, if at all this is something that is really a straightforward, or there is something that is carried in a professional manner. The police should have searched the vehicle instantly instead of uh, taking the guy in their vehicle and leaving this one behind. In fact, taking the key with them. So is there anything you're trying to tell us there? Thank you very much. This is a question I have. Well, uh, I have uh, uh, told you those facts so that, you know, uh, I don't want to draw any conclusions. I want the people the reasonable people to draw their, their own conclusion. Was it right for them to get this gentleman off the vehicle, put him in the police vehicle, and they take charge of the police vehicle, of, of, of the UDP vehicle, and drive it to, uh, to the Bundu station? And uh, in the light of what I have told you, that the inform intelligence report we had, that myself, Sabali, uh, Diba, Sonko, Honorable Saho, Yakumba, we should be careful because it's intended to put, plant drugs on us. I mean, what could a reasonable person conclude? This was planted. This was planted. Why did you let the man out of his vehicle? He should, you should have driven with him in his vehicle. Go to the and conduct, if you don't need on the spot, on arriving at the police station, conduct the site there in his presence. That's what should have been. But I leave it to to you people to draw your conclusions from it. Yeah. That question goes to a lady also. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Honorable Malafla Kanyimfoni Manika Kangala. Actually, I have two questions. Um, the first one is um, for Kabrinyin Kuo Ketafobi, Nigeria Ko. Oh, okay. Uh, and I work with Gambian Talents TV. 
Yes, uh, no first question of a calamine to well and you to go. Uh, Nigeria called covering in cook at a honey bee, a uh, more diamosi at a social media and in honey in a community also. Iba for can I uh, sign the first time? I mean, I've got a total of stunt in Nanata and police investigation or caro by the Naranako honey sign. I'll be talking now about whether it's going to be negative or positive. I mean, I've got a particular stunt. And the other question is, uh, Naran Fanako. Um, police or ni kanyi kabri ni operational start min kata um, zero crime fengko nyinti operation ni kabra koma seta na jere ko ni be fengol publish la e kamin publish wala nyinti ko ye fengol minu muta mol bulo kono e ko le publish pour mol yaaje bari na le na jere ko this time around ye parti ni na mutol ta ya publish um min ata fatol yam na ko it it has something behind it for ya ki jere ko atola activity so alba min ke kan asiatale so il of takal silent le jending 2021 election baraka bak ila nyinin kar folo uh, about police uh, 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 all uh police all investigation yeah member kalan lo nyati jeto well wo bebe di pen la ila conclusion ole kam so ko nga mem fo nga nga yilla mem ma o nga men jik o nga men nyanta kala o lon police olu e bela do ko kala nyamale ite fasar kala jeto to nya damma e bole fasala jeto men jata waye ke waye fo kal ko nga fo nyame eh eh ke se saba you know ko kulu saba e do sobita ka fo ko abata cannabis le bara fo ke fo ke solo fo cannabis ke solo lomba fo nyo ke solo lomba fo mun ke solo lomba mo ma lon ya wa bare e ba fo ka nyame e camera ka fo ko moto be farin ne moto be farin jambala le eda hani men sa fe kayto fanto itale men sa fe kayto e ko ko tri raps raps saba wala sa fe kayto ba le kafo nyame e kamera ka ko ba mande tono le tatata ni moto ko ba le eh moto ni la la ni kar fula nyang moto ni me yadna yada ni si ni lon kafo ko e be politikole la amang ke fem fi nata amang ke politikole ya ji ke kafo ko ni be udp toti nyano la ñine be judi fi la darajo ñine ba jindi la wala ya tinna ye ku ke de mandal la menke la e ka motol ni fo e ka motol ni article of crime ke muta janne e ka motol ni cannabis muta janne ba du ka motol natal ko e men fo ye mel muta ye fengal mel muta e ko da man ne fenke bar niaje e be ñin ke ka e ko be politikole la pour judi pi ka toti nya ka judi pi darajo dindi adu ko nga men fo ya ma kol nilo isata ya isata ya ti nyaa nyaa nyaama ya jaw ya ni nyaa nyaama wata kala ud wata kala ka fako udp uh udp are responsible la ngani mo foy but in fact ila an question or the answer wolu la wasuto ya na din din kende on at least nga mera na din din kende but unfortunately bay be politiko la be pon fanam a wudem spiatin musa suso at at station not rolo that night on this is on this matter so ila machine so they started right there musa suso at law benna they cannot deny it police officers were there they cannot they cannot deny it why would he go there ar nga nyinjele ka fa ko ne udp incidents ka do e npp la mo kumal e ka police it happened with yakumba fanka tata se on bala tata what does it happen to give it a political coloration but in nothing that this is a good weapon in their fight against you in politically so uh motola na talo nyin foka mo foka you foka udp udp to see and mol dad ro mo be ba fula udp udp dol ba nyi ma fula dol ba jaw ma fula bara nyi ma fula lo wala sa ta jaw ma fula ta can tell you that I'm um, considering the fact that um, UDP, to my personal opinion, is not only a de um, democratic party but noble and professional. Do we have a mechanism already set or stationed to avoid a situation of this nature in the near future? Uh, uh, in fact, even before this incident happened, uh, I was approached 
by uh, professional, no, not well, this gentleman is also a professional mechanic, but established garage owners to discuss with me the handling and maintenance of our vehicles. In fact, on Thursday, on Thursday, I spoke to one of them, and uh, my appointment with him today is at 11 o'clock. I, I don't know whether he's, whether he's outside waiting. When what upon what thing is, is, is today, where we see and discuss these things. And I've also been contacted by another well-established uh, garage uh, so that we discuss these issues, um, of our vehicles. My personal vehicle goes to that part particular garage for maintenance. But this is a party, party vehicle. I didn't want to take a decision on that without really consulting with the relevant uh, people in the party who could reach out that decision. But certainly, we are taking that measure yeah, to, ensure that, uh, no, to ensure that nothing uh, happens like that in the future. But again, you, know, you can only take that when, to such measures when you take the vehicles to a garage for maintenance. Uh, you park your vehicle like, in, a rest, in, a, in an area or in a home where there are several tenants. Where there are several tenants, what precautions? You know, because it's sometimes difficult. Because other tenants in the place would come, go in and out, and other people come in and out on the pretext of visiting other tenants in the place. Yeah. So uh, we, all that we have to do is just to be vigilant and extra careful. And I think this is a wake-up call for for all of us. Any lady want to ask a question? Yes. Um, my name is Binta Jalo and I work for iAfrica TV. Um, my first question is, um, who do you think is responsible for what is happening right now to the party? Um, what they wrote yesterday on social media saying that suspected um, cannabis were found in the vehicle and you said it wasn't like like you said so um, how is this because it's contradicting thank you well uh, uh, no I think you the Contradictions, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. You know. They have put forward their version. We have put forward our version. You know. And uh, certainly, uh, we believe in the credibility of our, passion, of our version. That is why we have gone to the extent of naming officers that are present. And uh, gone to the extent of saying how the operation went about. So, uh, uh, with there are contradictions, we leave it to people uh, with uh, unbiased minds to really I mean, reach a conclusion. And well, who should uh, point out, point at the person or at the individuals who is responsible? But what I, what I just want to say is that uh, you can spin, you can do everything, but UDP is not in this at all, and so for this. Government vehicles, why is the government not held responsible? The government was trafficking in drugs because their vehicle was used. In fact, in those cases, by their employees. And in our case, in this particular, the person is not our employee. We didn't even take the vehicle to him. We took the vehicle to Mr. Dabo and uh, to drive that vehicle. That is not even the case with us. All institutions in the past whose employees we have found yes it's fat camera again uh, the question i have is seen a uh, udp against you uh, do you think uh, this would affect udp's stand in trying to criticize the government in any drug case or any drug issue thank you that's my question in the mayor's issue 
Thank you. Uh, I think uh, uh, that is what the uh, that is what will be their conclusion. These things were planted. That would be that would be a conclusion. And uh, and the two are incomparable. You see, the cocaine has an international dimension. It has an international dimension, and uh, its destructive nature is far worse than the to sell, to destroy not only the lives of people in the Gambia, but in other parts of the world. And uh, since the, uh, uh, the interception of uh, that cocaine, those drugs, nothing serious has been done to prosecute it. And then you start questioning, how did the Mr. Banta Keta, how did he escape? You know, with a vigilante to uh, gather his, his council borituri at the TRRC that this quantity of drug, those type of drug, cannot come into any country without the government knowing anything unprepared. They would have done all the things they need to do, get the necessary contacts, and then bring them and then bring the drugs in. That cannot have. Uh, the intelligence operatives in this country could not have been traced. They should, they should have. So uh, to really compare that with, the youth, with this, uh, what they call trade wraps, I think uh, yes, people who are really, it's not going to affect the popularity of the United Democratic Party. It's not going to affect the chances of the United Democratic Party. They wish it could, but it's not going to. Because the guy told you, why would Musa Suso go, to the, go, go, go there, go to the police? Why? Deputy Governor of West Coast Region, a few days ago you saw him organizing former APRC NAMS to join and then uh, uh, to, seek to make sure that Barrow is elected. So for him and others like him, anything that will diminish UDP's chances would be their mission. So, but, 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 but we are not bothered. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, sir. My name is Ankola Janko. I work for WADR and DW. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, looking at the, uh, after listening to your genesis, it's quite, seems like it is used to the car. I just want to hear it from you officially. Do you think it is against UDP? Well, you see, uh, uh, I, as I say, I do not want to make, you know, uh, Really, uh, in the first place, at that hour, why would anybody use that vehicle? Why not, why, why not another vehicle in the garage? Why that vehicle? Why not another vehicle in the garage? Unbiased and uh, uh, unprofessional. So let us wait, we want to wait for the outcome of the investigation. And of course, if it goes beyond the investigation, yeah, then we can go. We can go with our party. Uh, Mr. Sonko? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Dabo. UDP Masimal Bebulu, UDP Motol Bebulu. It's a Yamaro Bekelimine to Omolkan, Bayern, Umusonia and Latin Anaka, Odiobula, Ka celebrate, Nunconian to Ka celebrate. UDP, a full local Bekelimine to a court. Besak Hakil Tuoti Kanak Hakil Tuoti Damman, but Hanibe Melbulan, Lani Melong. Luaman <laughs> For joint operation, for police or lumber, for immigrants or lumber, for SIS lumber, for soldier or lumber, Malon. But Akata security sector, Dokula, Dokula, Namira, Ila, Nyaton call you Yalokumo Moile, or Italian Tale, maybe Nyanta Menkala, Isa Isake, 
Malafi Fanang Ka Ajay Lota Kala Alado Kudlakam Mome Yalon Kavoko De Kudla Abuake Kang Wale Tola We are sanctioned out with it as he belongs to the actions of the indelicent, that delinquent of your that passed very heavily, but not in more and more and more and and more 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 and and more 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 Will you be disappointed by the actions of the police? And also, are there efforts to recover the vehicle that has been impounded and at Bundung? Uh, you did mention here earlier that usually when the police, you know, uh, apprehend suspects, they, they screen them. I mean, this is, are you also disappointed with this issue? And what is going to be your final advice to them? Because we are in a very the, the democratic process, you know, towards the election area. Thank you very much. Well, uh, you know, first question whether this is uh, in an election year, uh, whether this is not uh, going to be better. This, this yes. No, if it is, no, no, if it is, if it, no, if desperate people take to desperate actions in order to survive. So really, I wouldn't be disappointed, uh, although I hope that uh, uh, it will remain shameful. Yeah? But uh, I want to uh, also an action that will make the Gambian people and all reasonable persons to despise those who are behind these very scandalous efforts to demonize and put UDP in bad light. The many people dis despise them. Most of that political party will definitely despise such a move because uh, people want to have free and fair elections. And to have a free and fair elections. Well, no, I mean, you said the police, the police were just showing the vehicle. You know, uh, we'll put together a team of lawyers to be on the standby for us. And in social media, whether it was the police that actually took photograph of the vehicle and put it either on the social media or as this, as I saw it in, on standard or on standard newspaper. It could very well be the reporter of standard newspaper who went to the police station, took a snap of the vehicle and put and, and have, for putting out uh, uh, the image, the photograph of the of the vehicle in any media outlet, be it, uh, be it uh, uh, NPP, it was the NPP people who really, the Mbaro media, it was them who... Come on over. Um, good afternoon. Uh, I am Bakari Kamara from Kamara Official and Mbetala uh, Manika Kaun. I am all male affect kana lono waray te kana lono ni la patio toku yano mine be kila kumo te be mimi bondi lende mimi be bambana momo ndi mbe nyin lamu ila fo yudi pin kolomba mimi te kila yudi pin koti asi sene ama kafuko asa hakilo loring of bundu police station order nga nyin understand ko certain amount of drugs maybe niwo tarta moto kono wale sa atina ay lono je bari komi yafu nyami taike so da mani atina fiorol be kiri ni bang kala moto bondi je ibang sabanyo Million long alia la mutol samba ji fo ala mudo benu mu ya fo mi lafta pour yi senen tabarak okay uh koka mol hak lo sabatindi uh uh nsi men fo no dang wala yudi pin kolu albar albala do ko men na al kontina ko ko do ko kedam ma o don nam ko modin si men fo ali al sinyul dam fanan ka foko eh khanatra allota ko ye eh drogolu yama ye boto tang yole sar ñe moto ko no wote wu sen dabut 
hanibide ibe komo lela bari la komo nyi maye mutajedo folo komo nyi kafu kafu senda fasi lo fasi lo la you know uh, and uh, uh, you remember about the quantity of the uh, drug me nga folo kon lafta kam be nap team of lawyers put la together wolu le bo jube la ka du mala fi kuma fo janto me ya don ka bo ko nin na loyal ko mo manta ke clinte na ko na moto be mel bulu fo ke samba kiti wala well wo loyal le ba fo no la nya fo sila be mbulu le against them ka du kon tabla ka bo ko be samba la kiti wala wo ya don really eh buba da bo ya bo par buba da ma moto nya ma samba fo me moto nya samba fo buba le bentel advice la wala natra anyanta anyatran sita kiti wala ban hanna trafana en sitano kito lele ado bate ben yaton e manya na focus da on something else la dan da dan ni so bara bebe depend la on na loyas nyol ben advice la men gentlemen um morning um or afternoon i am mahmoud koli of uh, paradise tv uh, what i want to ask is um has the udp set an eye like physical cannabis seed but um cannabis and to clear the air the picture that you have been saying that it's it's circulating uh, it's clearly here on the uh, police facebook um page yet um the uh, drug oh uh, is it the uh, weed or the weed seed because it has been said that it's um three bundles of uh, cannabis according to social media reports so can you just um clarify that one Well, uh, according to social media reports, you know, that is their version. And according to the police, they say, is that official police page? Is that police? Yes, police. police yes. And uh, what I saw written, you think the police will write that? UDP has been charged to court, plead and not guilty. Is that, is that what? No, no, no. But the, what, what was... What, what was uh, Okay yeah. yeah yeah So I want to know if it's actually the cannabis have you seen the cannabis or cannabis Well 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 I'm not sure whether I mean the uh uh when the the definition of cannabis whether it's just limited to the leaves or it even covers the roots and the seeds yeah. I'm not sure whether it's just is our legal things that you know we want to leave we want to leave to our lawyer but i have stated that our people were with them step to step 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 of the step at the bundu police station seeds that's what was discovered if the seeds were not discovered and we wanted just to uh, make uh, the gentleman look good he said nothing was discovered but the truth is that that, that is what, and the gentleman even protested that look he did not put it there they cannot put it on he protested and and mark it jeto to be atom be atel ya ki jeto he protested and then you go on the back seat trying to see what is at the back seat probably no we have to find the stuff probably know where to find the stuff madam can we give the other gentleman a chance and then you will come on eh pamuru boyang ka yene karo kene mandinga kan wala prona audience um ngalo ne sanje mo ani fula mr dabo e nyim banko security used to lay against innocent people in so many area motoko no wato men nan tanga nyim mo inki jo yam fara because akadam fe ko pang wo so mo be amambo police pro bulu bara bota one immigration officer le bulu ka fo me ay satu sise yo andung e eh, kabiri nyimwa sakunda na ta ku follow 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 ye min fono even when mo bebe coalition da wolon security sector reformed but the security sector reform mantra ke kan because na tra ketanu to ndung e eh, nyimmu sundemo mi ye kankularo ke directly ate afonya mi anatole afonya mi manke kelenti ate afonya mi ye so ndela fra min lonna ngalo ne ko ni udp la man sakunda le bije ibe nyin ko address la le but udp is the main opposition party say nyin na irresponsibility ay min keteng as a police officer ha wala mun na nyin karo
na memfo walon ni officer ni malon abe formation jumalto bare bare ala head of ala head wayalo ko mol moyde so alimbe nga si nga jube ala head of department be mun disciplinar action le tala against her ningo ningo fe ningo nin sita fotil tanyon dan watu mo sinana 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 juwe menyanta kala bar na mem yala mala ko nyilu nyin koñin na ya ya tate ba haw hawla ilafta mo le nyinandila ko em mem fotel lack of security member banko ko ilafta mo le nyinande wala feng la ni mo be diam kam man sa konko ako nyoko na janto jiti janto kuranti janto kando kandia be mol fala ilafta mo le nyinandila wala kafoko udp udp bare elo kata kol be abe kala zero ldi kadi to item gambian kolu kunin tali sai yalla na kafoko mote e haklo nyami nola ke haklo bondu kuka memu tele everyday problem mote ya ma ni ko fana ko be udp di register la well elections act e memfo mbita wala e be dal la ko wol di la de dal la ko yo e bole di la adun ngaji ko dalilo me kalament wala ni me ko ke udp la ya bulala ba no legitimate so the registration eh nin lo as an independent candidate nin lo as an independent candidate wa udp mel be no from kona to kato e be bulana usen da wol no ba good afternoon my name is paul mandabo Kibaro newspaper from the United States. Uh, my question is about here on the social media. She was like uh, very happy and jubilant. And it could be possible that I stand to be corrected. But it could be possible that it's not a supporter of the United Democratic Party. Don't you think that about Musa Suso organizing uh, the former members of the National Assembly, APRC, to join together in force to support the borough, uh, the NPP? What is your stand? the UDP stand on the issue of uh, Musa Shiso occupying a public office when he has already been convicted of drug peddling. Well, the lady who identified herself as I said, she said, as I have said, you know, the Director General of Immigration because she's allowed to be part of that security outfit, has heard her statements, I mean, has heard, has seen, and heard how relish she was in making that statement. Very happy, very jubilant, you know? I mean, uh, really uh, betraying her uh, lack of professionalism. Now, it is left to the Director General of Immigration to really take the appropriate action. Whether such uh, individuals, such delinquent persons, who are dragging the reputation of that department into the gutters, whether it should, whether it should be retained in that office, showing political bias for security. So anyone who belongs to UDP and comes into contact with that lady on a security related matter, you can be sure that you will not get any fair treatment. You can be sure of that. So it's left for the Director General. And we are not going to say anything until, as I have told Mr. Boja, until after 10 days, we see what action has been taken. Now, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, for, for Mr. Suso, uh, I think. Uh, uh, I want to be very generous to him. I think uh, his, when he last had his sentence, it's more than five years, and I think for more than five or ten years. So uh, I believe uh, even as a member of National Assembly, probably he could contest. I'm not too sure, but I think so, because of the lapse of time, you know. But the cardinal thing in the, on, as far as he's concerned is that he is holder of a public office official office, deputy governor, responsible 
for the biggest region in this country with diverse political persuasions. So he should not be seen to be really advocating for the election of any uh, political leader or the re-election of Adam Abaro. At the Public Service Commission, I think, should really take the appropriate step. And I believe the chairman of the Public Service Commission is a very principled person, very decent, very honest, anything really tainting the integrity and the image of the public service. I think he'll do something about it. So we live again, we, we, we throw the ball into the court. For the lady, we throw the ball into the court of the uh, Director General. And for Mr. Suso, we throw the ball into the, into the... We'll have the last question. Uh, it's Fat Kamara Gini again, Fatu Network. Uh, I want to uh, make a follow-up of what uh, Honorable Dabo said. Uh, you made mention that uh, in the past we have uh, ambulances and um, security vehicles, that is the army vehicles, being used to convey drugs. Uh, can you cite any example of that? And the other question I have is, um, did you receive any letter, like official letter from the IGP or a drug enforcement agency with regards to this issue right now? Thank you very much. Those are the two questions. Well, I don't know when I say Madam Fat Kamara Junior. I don't know who's Junior Fat Kamara you are. You know? But uh, eh? your boss. Oh, so, well, that's why, you know. You see, you are too young <laughs> to know these things. You know, I, mean, I did not have to receive, I did not have to get a letter from any security agency, whether drug law enforcement or the Inspector General of Police. These things were published in the papers. Everybody knows them. Published in the papers, and people are prosecuted and convicted. So it's not a question of uh, trying to say something, you know, because uh, it pleases me. But this is factual, and uh, probably if you talk to Fatu Kamara Senior, she'll tell you that this had happened here in the past. Ambulances, I mean, using the siren. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a made-up story. People here much older, they know this. Well, you know, there are so long at the time that, uh, but, but I know that ambulances have been used, and nobody can dispute that. Army trucks have been used, nobody can dispute that. You know, government vehicles have been used, nobody can dispute that. You know, if you are to go to in the archives, you'll see them. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, I really think um, I should thank you. Um, the party leader has uh, given you one and a half hours of uh, the Monday, which is a very busy day. And like I said also, we will be having regular interaction with the press. We believe in absolute transparency. We are accountable to the Gambian people as a political party. And whenever events and issues uh, arise where we need to give our version of those events, uh, we will come out and, you know, in a no-holds-bar way. There is no filter. There is no editing. Usain Udabo will answer your questions directly, one-on-one. -on -one. It's not uh, that some spokesperson will come and read a statement. So really, we want uh, to thank you uh, profoundly that the next series of uh, press briefings will be specifically on the party's agenda for 2021 each and every policy area that we have been working on over these last uh, three, four months uh, will be the subject of discussion. So we want you also as our partners, uh, the media, to come prepared to do the necessary research so that uh, we would feel that the work we are doing, we are not doing it just for our own edification. Presidential candidate of the UDP in clarifying.